So I went back all the way because of the second try it went way worse than the first one. So it is time for a nap and potentially bringing out a Starian. Okay, so earlier I walked up to her without Shadowheart. I walked up to her with a Starian instead. And it was a whole different scene where like she was threatening to put coals on their legs and now we didn't we didn't have an option to talk about the the shoes. I was like maybe maybe uh Shadowheart has them. <laughs> nice, okay, two shot the sergeant. We're doing much better <laughs> when we are at full capacity. And I put Gale and Asterion up on the high ground, and they've almost killed this one right here, so... So that's good. Alright, we got Nier and the Sergeant. Everyone else has decided to be invisible for now. an illithid parasite in that corpse. So I did just realize I beat everybody pretty handily. Um, but I can, I, I essentially can try to do this persuasion roll again. I mean, I don't mind killing a bunch of slavers, but... Yeah. Might be right about that. Shut up, Asterian. The bodies we got, the slower we move. You free squatties? Get your legs moving before I change my damn mind. If I see you slavers again, I'll tear you apart. You think? I catch so much of a whiff of you, I'll have you flayed and fried up for dinner. Now move out of here. Dad's back to being full hell. Mm, I want to have a word. This individual doesn't seem particularly fond of you. Perhaps a gift would improve their sentiment. I don't think that's uh, the, that's not how things work in this game. But Your offer appears to be of interest. Let's make it a good one. Ah, uh, what would a barbarian? Well, I gave him this. I don't think I want it. Um, but he doesn't seem to care for it. I don't know what else he would want, and I couldn't find anything after a quick perusal. So, yeah. I don't even know where that guy is. The guy who was like... Threatening me. Oh, dang. Oh, this is was this the uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Think about it. You don't need to. We're together. That's what matters. This was the shopkeeper guy, and this was his cool stuff. Some of it. Alright, let's chat. Please. No. Beldron! I was so worried! Did Nia hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank God. Oh my gosh, they're giving me a hug. That's hard to animate. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gadel on hand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. Thank you. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? I thought maybe he said that because I'm a drow, uh, but it's because we look so good together. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's because I have a true soul thing. Uh, it would seem... Or no, I guess thank you. She's going to send me on your trail. Glittering gods! I should have known that one was too damn stubborn to die. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. 
Make it quick. We need to find Wolbrin. Now. Hey. You're a little late, Barkus, my Yeah. Name. He's already been sent to Moonrise. This is that guy we met up on the surface. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in he's now? Wearing the, he's wearing the clothes. Before you ask, no. Yeah, what does he, what does he know? I need to know. You'll call me mad, but fine. Waldron's found the formula for <gasps> rune powder. What? I have no idea what that I, is. The explosive of Gerdel Ironhand's own creation. Fistfuls, wiping out armies. All those old stories. Only Waldron couldn't leave the stories be, so he went and bloody found it. A small supply tucked away down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. Makes sense. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the sword coast. Oh, uh, that is less than ideal. Uh... Then we'll just have to free him first. You really would, wouldn't you? But not us. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. So you'd leave your guy because you're like, we have business. <sighs> that business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrin behind. I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew, Half as much as you think, my lad. Wolburn might have kept you around. Oh, snap. Yeah, I, I, I do think that's cool. I do want to, like, I get that there's reasons, but like, yeah. It is. And if the pick swung the other way, I'd expect Wolburn to do the same. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake. Then, Onto the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walbrun together. You're just gonna let a guy with explosive uh, stuff Wait, in his brain is that a bruise there? Be captured. My sister, dead by Nia's hand. Mana, I'm so sorry. He has a very delicate face. Um. Mana. By the God. Well, you did it. True. I shouldn't be surprised considering our history. And yet. So, was he captured? Oh, dang. Don't sound so surprised. Nothing good happens in the Underdark. You should know as well as I. As you know, some of the Iron Hand gnomes. My friend Walbrin, among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. They're not even going after him. I wish I was surprised. I mean, they can't really. And so, to Moonrise Towers, I they go. They can't really do anything. I think I can't blame them for that, right? But just for the fact that they don't even seem that torn up about it. Um. Haven't heard of them. They're a clan of artificers in Baldur's Gate. I won't speak ill of their skills, but their politics are another matter entirely. They call themselves freedom fighters. I call them extremists. Okay. Uh, you should rest at my camp. Rest? At a drow camp? Oh, come on. I'd be safer among mine. They're friends. not all drow, it's just me. Wander off alone and you just might meet them. <laughs> Hmm. hmm. Fine. Show me where to go, and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. It's interesting. And, um, thank you. When I get the option to invite people to my camp, so I'd like to do so. Let's save again, because I don't know. 
Boots of Speed. Oh, I did give those to Shadowheart. Okay. Ooh. Together. That's what matters. I feel like there should be more to talk to them about, but. The decaying corpse lies before you. Uh, yeah, I'll take it, Ted. Bonus. Elixir of Heal Giant. No, I should be fine, I hope. Okay, I was like, wait! Okay, we did it. Well, hold on. I'm glad I quick saved because I don't know if I'll be able to talk to it. Oh, this the is. The head breaks off cleanly from the glass body. Hey, 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 hey. Can I talk to the head? This is gruesome. Wow. Hang on, let's see if I can. Yeah, no, I need to talk to this guy first. Before cutting his head off. Working? All right. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did you come here with the Durga? Mercenaries. Absolute unites. What were you doing here? Find path to temple. Orders of general. Tell me more about this general, yeah. Absolutes chosen. Moonrise Towers. I mean, I knew that already. What about this temple is so important? General's Necromancer. Balthazar. Balthazar? Do I know that name? Um, where did you come from? Moonrise Oh my gosh. Towers. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Perfect. Let's chat. <laughs> wakey, wakey. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Give me your secrets. Who did you work for? Yeah, I know. Disciple. Who is this disciple? Thrill. Oh. Absolute's favorite. Speaks with general. I thought the general was one of the three, maybe. Who's near? True soul. Yeah, I know that. Do you have any valuables? No. Oh, please. The Eleanor Thrin. The spell's power away. Okay. Um, but now I will. I swear. No, I'm the decaying corpse lies before you. Yep, time to choppy your teddy off. Gross. The head breaks off cleanly. Deliver near his head. Another spider liar. Oh, I'll give that to Asterion. Sort of screams. Oh, maybe. Shh. Put it out of your mind. Yeah, Carlac. I'm here now. Disintegrating night walkers can't be in webbed and tangled orange scenario it's and can't right. slip on grease or ice. It's not right. Darker than a starless night, night walkers so, so are made for secrecy in the honor of Shar, this particular pair is found deep in the ruins of an underdark fortress. The leather, the leather is old and the magic is fading. The boots were cle recently clean and oiled with care. A broken moon lantern. I don't know what that does. What does a moon lantern do? Shine moonlight? A mind flayer. An object catches your oh, eye. Oh, okay. A lantern, it seems. Though no light flickers within. <sighs> broken as an old heart. Nothing but dust inside. 
Arcana. Ouchie. Man, not having any proficiency is uh, killing to me. To all appearances, the dust seems quite ordinary. We can try and investigate, I guess. We'll see. All right. <coughs> you see no burner or wick. It was not fuel that lit this lamp, but magic. Okay. Cool beans. I'm not really sure why this guy is still here. You're covered in dust. And what's inside? Wait. Is that a bruise there? You guys have been beat the crap up. Of course you're gonna have a bruise. Oh hey, Asterian. Oh wow. Let it be known that Ironhead knows that the blessing of the shield of the Golden Hills to clear possession of the tunnels, open spaces, peoples, and contents of Underdark territory beneath the Western Heartlands. You declare possession of the peoples and contents, open spaces of the Underdark territory. What? You don't get to. Are you guys also just slavers? All right, well, let's level everybody up. Level six, I'm so excited. But now I'm an Oathbreaker, so things have changed a little. I gain a plus zero bonus to saving throws. That doesn't make any sense. We could change our bestial heart, but I am enjoying it. Throwing camp supplies blinds targets because you're a monkey. Oh my gosh. I guess you're an ape, but... Crocodile, your movement speed is increased by 3 meters when standing in water-based surfaces. Gain advantage on perception. I know maybe it doesn't seem crazy, but honestly, aspect of the elk giving extra movement speed seems pretty good. Like, not your stereotypical one, right? Crocodile seemed cool. Chimpanzee seemed cool, too, but... Subclass features. Hey, what you got, bud? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, counterspell. Wait, yeah. He would prefer evocation. But if I gave him animate dead, I can control... No, no, because he... Blah, blah, blah. Should I have somebody who can grant flight? That would be nice. Yeah. I can change his skills. No, I'm good. Thanks. Just level up, my boy. Well, that was in dust. gnarly. There must be a drought connecting Green Forge. Yeah, there is. We already found it. According to talk, although maybe I haven't talked to Halston about it in this save. We have his head. The forge. The Chosen of Shar. Okay. Well, I need to, like, halt being in here and go finish up the outside world. Well, the outside Underdark. Um, I don't know what's out there. There's at least the... Uh, the Susarbark Forge. And there's that ruin down there that I want to go look at. I'm exhausted, though. I hope this was fun to watch. I realized I, did, I realized I didn't talk as much, but I I just got I am trying to get to Act Two. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. I've been playing for hours and I just can't get to it. Keep thinking it's right around the corner, but I also don't want to like miss out on the stuff here, you know. So anyway, I'm exhausted. 
I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.